This is one of the hardest Minecraft prisons ever. And while it may look simple on the surface, the interior is shielded by bedrock, making it impossible to break out. Will I be able to escape? Let's find out because the time starts now. I started off in this room that I was trapped in by bedrock surrounding me. All I could see near me was this blast furnace that had nothing in it. I tried looking around the room for something hidden, but there was nothing here from what I could see. I also had nothing in my inventory to help me, and I couldn't see any hidden buttons or levers that I could press. I was convinced that I was just being trolled right now, and there was actually no way to escape this thing. That is until I solved it by just doing one thing pressing F5. When I did this, I saw that there was a hidden chest near the bedrock that was above me. The reason I couldn't see this chest before is because you actually have to crouch to even see a little sliver of it. When I opened it, the chest contained 5 raw iron, 6 warped planks, some redstone, a blaze rod, and 6 gold. I looked to see what I could do with these materials, and I started off by deciding that I probably had to smelt this raw iron in this blast furnace next to me. I tried using the warped planks as fuel, but I forgot that you actually can't burn this type of wood. I then realized that I could use my blaze rod as the fuel, and since it was the only flammable item in my inventory, I smelted the iron. While it was cooking, I tried thinking about how I could use these other items to help me. I found that you can actually make a crafting table out of the warped planks, so I made one of those and placed it down right here. The iron was all done cooking, so I grabbed it and started crafting. I started thinking about all the things that I could craft with five iron. I knew that I could make boots and a helmet, but I figured that wouldn't help me whatsoever in this situation. But then I had a genius idea. I could craft a minecart, which I could then use to escape since it would teleport me out once I right click on it. When I made the minecart though, I wasn't able to place it anywhere because I didn't have any rails. I started regretting making this minecart because I now wasted my iron and I'm probably going to be stuck here forever. But then it finally hit me. If I craft my last two planks into sticks, I can put it into a crafting table with redstone and gold around it to make a powered rail. Then all I had to do from here was place it outside of the box and make my escape. Now that I'm out, I can finally explore the next room and whoa, this is so cringe. All right, well, there looks to be an Among Us character and I can actually see the exit pathway through his helmet. I tried looking around the room for some hidden objects, but I couldn't find anything. I only had one block, and this wasn't nearly enough to make it. But then, I figured it out. If I could somehow reach the entrance, I could place a rail in a minecart to teleport myself up there. I still wasn't reaching high enough, and I tried thinking of things that I could craft to get me up higher. Then, I realized something. I left the chest back in the spawn room. So, I broke the chest and used it to build up one more block to the Among Us character. Now, all I had to do was break this glass, and then use this sidewall to place down a rail. Now, I can place a minecart car on top of this rail and make it up to the exit. Now I'm confused though, because all this led me to was a dead end. The only thing I could see here was a hole that appeared to have some railroad tracks going through it. There was no way for me to reach this though, so I couldn't place my minecart there and escape. I had to think about what I could do here, but it didn't take me too long because this one's pretty easy. All I had to do was connect the rest of the track with my six powered rails, but I didn't have enough here, and with this, I wouldn't be able to get enough speed to go through the bedrock. I explored around to see if there's something that I missed, but the answer laid right in my inventory. I had a leftover redstone piece and some sticks. And with this, I could craft a redstone torch to power the rails. Now, I had enough speed to place the minecart and make it through the bedrock. When I made it through, there was a sign that said lava pit ahead, and I barely managed to make it out in time. I went back to check what was actually there, and there really was a death trap waiting there. That was a close one. When I went to explore the new area, it seemed to be an icy snow area with a furnace under me and a crafting table pushed into the wall. I'm pretty sure if I tried breaking it, I wouldn't be able to get it back, so I didn't even attempt it. I tried breaking some of the ice to get water from it, but I quickly realized that this was all packed ice, so I was not going to get any water. I also checked the furnace and found that there was two iron ingots waiting for me with one raw iron left. I was kind of confused on what to do here, so I went around breaking random blocks to see if I could find anything. And when I broke this ice block right here, I seemed to uncover a huge tunnel leading all the way down. If I fell, there was no way I was going to survive that, so I needed to find a way to make it down safely. I was still pretty confused on how I was going to achieve this until I took a closer look at the blocks around me. I found that one of these snow blocks was not like the rest, and once I found this, I knew exactly what I had to do to make it down. I needed to get a bucket, and to smelt the last raw iron in this furnace, I had to use my sticks as fuel. Then, I used my three iron to craft a bucket and used it on this odd looking snow. When I picked it up, it was powdered snow. Before dropping, I broke each block to make sure there was nothing hidden and also broke the crafting table and furnace just to be safe. Once I found that there was nothing, I used the powdered snow to cancel my fall damage while falling down this pit. As you can see, powdered snow stops you from taking damage when you fall on it, which allowed me to finally make it to the next
next area safely. Now, I'm in this small room with a hopper below me and a piston blocking my entrance. There was a barrier blocking me from breaking the piston, so I figured that the prison wanted me to give up my powdered snow to move on. So I threw the powdered snow in, escaped the box, and took the piston with me. This new area was huge, and the first thing I saw were these two mushrooms, which I just picked up. The platform on the other side of this thing was cut off by a huge pit of void, and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to find some sort of way to make it across there safely. The first thing I looked at was this villager in the wall who was offering four slime blocks for one amethyst shard. I didn't have that shard yet, so I decided to just keep looking around. The first room had a lava wall with a block of water in the middle. I tried using F5 to see if there was any water on the other side, to which there was none. That means I'm gonna have to find a way to get through this lava without dying. In the meantime, I looked at the room next to it, which had a large drop off and a chest floating in the air. I also saw that there was a hole in the ceiling, but since I didn't want to get stuck by dropping down, I just kept looking. The final room was a large hallway with a pit of doom below, and there were these odd looking water platforms in the middle. I also found this crafting table on the wall and decided to break it so I could take it with me since I had nothing to craft yet. I accidentally pressed F5 and actually uncovered a hidden item frame right above me and it had a bowl in it. I crouched so I could see part of this item frame and then I got the bowl. I went back to the lava room and figured that I had to be missing something from here since I already checked everywhere else. I imagined there had to be something hidden inside the lava so I searched around until I opened a hopper which had a flower in it. I didn't really realize how a flower would help me whatsoever until I remembered that you can craft a suspicious stew with the regular recipe and a flower. I searched up which potion effect my specific flower would give me and found that it actually gives players fire resistance but only for three seconds. So I crafted it and I had to be quick here. I immediately drank the soup and went straight through the lava. On the other side there was a chest with a bow, a slime block, and an arrow. After gathering that I broke the chest and jumped straight into the lava again to escape. I didn't really understand what I had to do with this bow and arrow until I looked up and immediately revealed the answer to my question. There was a target with a dropper next to it so if I shot the target block it should dispense whatever is inside that dropper. I had to be perfect with this so I lined up the shot and hit it dead on. I waited for the item to fall and it was a trident enchanted with riptide 3. I knew exactly which part of the stage I had to use this trident for so I ran over to the big hallway. I had to do this all on the first try or else I would just fall into the void and die. Since my trident is enchanted with riptide 3 this allows me to launch myself out of the water and leap far distances. So I lined myself up at the edge and jumped to the middle platform. I made it safely in and then did the same thing to make it over to the last platform. Once I successfully made it, I opened the shulker box at the end and got two different pistons. I looked around me to make sure that there was nothing that I missed and then I leaped my way back over to the main area. Now that two out of the three rooms have been completed, I had one left to go until I could escape. This was the room with the big drop off, so once I jumped off, I had to find a way to somehow make it back up. I saw only one chest and I tried using F5 to look around for more things. I just barely found that there was a hopper hiding underneath me and after thinking for a while I thought it would be best to drop down since I had no other option. When I opened the hopper I got 24 bamboo. I had no idea how this is gonna help me. I needed a way to somehow make it to this chest so I took a look at my inventory to see what I could do. One idea I had was to make a slime block launcher with my piston and slime block. I decided to try this out by placing a piston with slime on top and using the trapped chest from the lava room to activate it. This allowed me to launch myself over to the chest and open it. I opened it and saw four string but I wasn't able to grab it because it forced me out as I was falling. I decided to try again by putting the slime block back in its place and launching myself once again. This time, I was fast enough to grab the four string and keep it for myself. I started thinking about what I could do with this string. I knew I could make a block of wool, but this wouldn't help me whatsoever. I then looked at the crafting menu and saw that I could craft scaffolding blocks. So I used all of my string and bamboo up to craft 24 scaffolding blocks. Now, I can use these to build up through the tunnel in the ceiling and safely climb up. When I made it up, I found the amethyst shard waiting for me. I grabbed the shard and made my way back down the scaffolding. Then I used my previous slime block launcher to launch myself back into the main room and made it up safely. If you're wondering why I used the regular piston instead of a sticky piston, I simply did this because I already figured out what I needed to build to get across this large gap. I needed to build a flying machine. I used my amethyst shard to trade with the villager and acquired my four slime blocks. I now had four slime blocks and two sticky pistons, but to successfully build this machine, I still need two observers. I looked around for hidden spots where it could be and had no luck at all. I even went back and checked each room to make sure there wasn't anything that I missed, but I still couldn't find where the observers could be at. Out of frustration, I started beating up the villager, but as I was taking out my anger on him, I found that there was a secret hopper right under his feet. And as you could have probably guessed, it had the last two observers that I needed. Now I feel really bad for beating up the villager, but that doesn't matter anymore. It was time for me to build this machine. I placed the observers down with the pistons behind them, and then followed it up with two slime blocks on each side sticking to the pistons. Now all I had to do was stand on top of this thing and 
hope for the best. I placed a scaffolding block to activate the observer and we're off. I really had to be careful as to not fall off this thing while it was carrying me across the void, but when I finally made it to the other side, I jumped off and safely made it to the exit. Now, all I had to do was take the staircase up to the top and I did it. I escaped the hardest Minecraft prison. If you enjoyed this prison escape, please help me get to 5,000 likes by liking the video right now and subscribe in three, two, one. Boom. Welcome to the squad. Also, buy my new Lunar Cloak link in the description. Okay, bye.